Hello friends, my name is Palash. I am more than 10 years experience in pharmaceutical sterile domain. I am a SME in sterile operation and practices. Today, we will be discussing the difference between aseptic and terminal sterilization process. So before moving ahead, don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Friends, so as we discussed earlier as well, I kept my presentation very precise and to the point and I kept all those points from FDA aseptic guidance published on 2004 September to understand the actual regulatory requirement and what they have written in their guidance. However, we, we will discuss on the interpretations and the understanding part and how we can implement in our facility or premises all those requirement. So to start with, there is a basic difference between the production of sterile drug manufacturing using a aseptic process and terminal sterilization process. Terminal sterilization process usually involve filling and sealing product containers under a high quality environment conditions to minimize the microbial and particulate content from the in process product and to help and ensure that the subsequent sterilization process are successful. In most of the cases, the product container and closure have low bio burden and they are not sterile at the time of filling. The product is in final container is subjected to sterilization process such as heat or irradiations. Here in this presentation as we are discussing about the liquid products, so we will be more focusing on the terminal moist relation process. Although the different kind of heating mechanism and radiation mechanism can be applied on different category of product configurations based on the requirement or based on the product design. So from this slide, we able to understand that terminal sterilizations. Terminal means this is the last process when your product is filled and your container is ready. At that time, we perform the sterilization, suitable sterilization process by considering the product property and design. So this is the basic presentation of terminal sterilization process. So here we can see where from we are getting the material, the starting material, personnel, air. So these are the external rigs inherent to our process and we are avo avoiding all those uh, rigs using a sterilization process end of the filling. So terminal sterilization process minimizing all the rigs. So I can start with the flow. This is the primary material in in an area where the washing, rinsing and depinization will be taking place and it will come to the filling and sealing station. Whereas there is a starting material uh, and raw material and the equipment cleaning uh, procedure will be followed here. All the starting material will be compounded and further it will be filtered. So here it is shown as a 0.22 micron filter but we are not considering is a sterile grade filter. It's which we are considering as a bio burden reduction filter. So when your packaging material, your solutions are, are came into the filling area, it's fill and seal but we are not calling as a sterile solutions. After unloading, it, it is going to the sterilization loading area. After sterilization, we will be considering this product as sterile. So here I am explaining terminal sterilization means we are sterilizing at the end of the process and assuring our product is sterile. This process majorly divide into the two categories. One is overkill method, second is bar burden based cycle. In overkill method, 
it is then generally used for a heat stable materials as i told it's a heat stable material so as a result greater heat or exposure input into the product or the item being sterilized designed to provide a significant level of sterility assurance regardless the number and the resistance of the actual bio burden and the organism in the load as we are applying the adequate heat and it is a combination of the time and temperature or f0 based on that we are trying to achieve the overkill but what if my product is not heat stable and it's require less exposure time or minimum temperature to sterilize in that case we will be using the barbarden based cycle so the significant of barbarden cycle required to study determine the number and the resistance of the microorganism found in the product and the barbarden load of the incoming material and containers yes we need to understand what will be the our barbarden limit and how much load we are getting based on the process control and design a cycle development to destroy the microbial load but not to degrade a product routine biobinding monitoring is a very important aspect because our qualification based on the bio burden and we establish few control and based on that control we have developed and we have qualified our cycle so it is very important your facility should have a bio burden monitoring process and ongoing knowledge on the heat exposure and resistance of the organism need to be understand product bio burden container closure bio burden and environmental monitoring will be the important aspect of this monitoring of bio burden now in aseptic process the drug product container and closure are first subjected to sterilization method separately as appropriate and brought together and it is critical that container to be filled and sealed in a highly extremely high quality environment aseptic process involve more variable than terminal sterilization before aseptic assembly into a final product the individual part of the final product are generally subjected to various sterilization process for example glass container are subjected to dry heat rubber closure are subjected to moist heat li and liquid doses form are subjected to filtrations means we are talking about the solution to be filled into the product container that should to be filtered with 0.2 micron each of these manufacturing process required a robust validation plan and control each process could introduce an error that ultimately could lead to a distribution of a contaminated product any manual or mechanical manipulations of the sterilized drug component container or closure prior to or during aseptic assembly poses a risk of contamination thus necessitate careful control a terminally sterilized drug product on the other hand undergoes final sterilization in a sealed container thus limiting the possibility of error sterile drug manufacturer should have keen awareness of the public health implications of distribution of a non sterile product poor cgmp conditions at a manufacturing facility can ultimately pose a life threatening health risks to a patient friends here we understand the complexity of aseptic process where we understood each and every component of aseptic process need to be taken care individually and that required sterilizations in every stages when each and every component are sterilized then can be aseptically under handle under a control environment in our next flow process we will be understanding more how this aseptic process has been controlled and monitored and what are the component may cause contaminations to your process
so we can see the demonstration of aseptic process. It's just like similar to the terminal sterilization, but where is the difference? We can understand this all the input materials are the similar like to terminal sterilizations. But here we need to ensure each and every input material are sterilized before they are brought into the filling area. So here is the packing material. It will be washed and sterilized and it will come to the filling area. Similarly, we, if we talk about a stoppering rubber bung seal that need to be separately sterilized and need to be bring into the filling area. Then all the API excipient that that we are using for the process using for a compounding process that need to be filtered and that need to be stored in a holding vessel after point to micron sterile filtrations and this and when the container closer solutions are sterile individually then aseptically that need to be filled under a grade A air flow with the background of grade B whereas in terminal solution we consider the background is grade C bit relax because we are considering the sterilization into the end of the product end of the process where we have written no sterilization is required in case of aseptic because the entire product entire operation we have performed under a filling area aseptically friends these six are the contamination source major contamination source into the aseptic processing first one i will be starting from facility second one will be the equipment process material utilities personnel so we need to take care from every aspect that should not introduce any kind of contaminations in the finished product when we are talking about different kind of sterilization process we should understand the moisture sterilization process we consider for the component preparation and the machine change part sterilization what used in the filling machines and other accessories closer means rubber stopper and seal consider for the sterilization moisture sterilization operator gown need to be sterilized through moisture sterilizations holding vessel need to be performed sterilization using moisture dry heat sterilizations we consider for the glass container although radiation can be applied for the comp compatible container as per the product requirement or design sterile filter filtration consider for disinfectant consider for a processor nitrogen or compressor and the final product solution thank you very much friends these are the reference i have used during preparations of my slide i kept all the statement from the guidance to understand what is the actual regulatory requirement and i have tried to explain if i miss something and or you need more clarifications on those point please feel free to comment under this video thank you very much